So, Nico, the Daily Mail has the latest in the war against undocumented retail therapy. Yeah, uh, retailers will now pay police to stop shoplifters. Well. Ten, uh, uh, ten of UK's largest stores will fund £600,000 project uh, called Pegas Project Pegasus mm -hmm. uh, to scan faces of thieves on CCTV as co-op hires undercover guards amid claims uh, the crime is being decriminalized. So yeah. this is a recurrent story. Uh, there has been an, a 25% increase this year in shoplifting. Uh, head of ASDA says essentially it has been decriminalized. Yeah. Uh, Co-op going for undercover guards, Tesco uh, equipping their personnel with body cameras. And so, I don't know if you've been in supermarkets lately. I go in the, the co-op near us in Hove quite often. They have, like, empty coffee jars now. It's on the shelves. The coffee jars are empty and you have to ask for them, you know, in the way they used to do with, like, whiskey or something. That happened know. with Larpak for Did a while. It? Other butter is available, of course, but, yeah, yeah Larpak became, uh, yeah. went through the roof and they had the, the tag on it or whatever, or they just had Bizarre. stomach project. What I think is hysterical about this is retailers will now pay the police. Yeah. Isn't the taxpayer paying the police? Well, it's going backwards, isn't it? It uh, used to be this, this used to, this was the whole point of having a centralised police force. A bit like in the old days, you had to have a plaque over the fireplace, you know, to prove that you paid fire insurance, otherwise they wouldn't put your... If, if the, the house oh. was on fire. You know, that was, yeah, the old previous before them. You, you, the, the whole idea was you centralised these things. And now we're getting back to a situation where you're having to pay for private security. It's like living in South Africa. As an Italian, it makes me uncomfortable because that's how mafia started. There yeah. were parts of the country where the Absolutely. state was absent. So they said, fair enough, the state has ignored us. Yeah. We might as well pay for protection. Now, in there's this a guy, case... There's a, a right-wing uh, sort of philosopher in economics called Thomas Sowell. I don't know if you've heard of him, an American guy. And he says, you know, in many parts of America in the 20th century, the safest places to live are where organised crime took over because they would absolutely keep the streets clean, you know, and, uh, and you wouldn't get... Uh, yeah, they, they fulfilled a, a, yeah. a role and there yeah. was a vacuum. In this case, these uh, um, retailers obviously are paying their taxes, but now they're going to pay the police, and I hope they're not going to be as human as French gendarmerie because uh, <laughs> they might <laughs> run they like CCTV with... pictures oh, and still make no arrests. I mean, it's a good question whether the shoplifting reflects the cost of living prices or I suspect it's more for kicks.